Hello and welcome to Chain Tanks. This is a nice little pixely style top-down shooter, free game I found on itch, with upgrades, and you get uh, decimated quite quickly if you don't do the right upgrades. So here it is, the main menu, you start with new game, and we're gonna do easy, cause we don't have all day now, do we? You have one truck or tank, you can switch between machine gun, rockets, missiles. Let's go for missiles and you can upgrade the damage and reload speed, bullet speed and also armor plating. I think reload speed probably. Gun rifling, what does that do? BSPD, probably damage and uh, speed of the whole chain of tanks because you can add more tanks to your chain. It's a bit weird but pretty cool. And then you pick a mission and they are sorted by difficulty and the key is really in the beginning to upgrade one truck. But because we didn't do that, we're gonna go for an easy mission right now. And now on the bottom left we see six enemies left. Yeah, we can do this, but there's also a time limit. You can also only do uh, 24 hours, in-game hours, of missions. And uh, use all the scrap you get to upgrade, and then eventually you have to fight a huge end boss. And uh, the best strategy is, of course, to take the hardest missions, but this tank I constructed so far is kind of weak, so it'd be very risky to go for a harder mission. So we did that well, but I'm gonna get rid of this thing. And uh, let's upgrade the heck out of this. And we, we haven't even... Oh boy, this is not too good. But we're gonna continue, we're gonna take the... Uh, least time wasting, most scrap giving mission. And uh, the enemies have chains. The key is to destroy the chains and you can basically l let the leader alive because once you kill a leader, more tanks will spawn in depending on the number at the bottom left. These yellow ones are weird though, I think they don't, only the leader can shoot. That's rather non charging. Also, we have these health power ups, so it's not totally horrible. But these red ones are dangerous. And our bullet is slow and we have only one tank type, so it's a bit... It's quite of a challenge right now. So I'm just... Uh, well, let's call it crippling these chains. The wagons, as let's call them wagons, they don't do anything once they are disconnected. Yeah. So we don't care about them. Okay, five more. I count three, so that means two more t uh, chains will arrive. There's one. And it's best to take out the second, because the first is be uh, very well armored usually. Right, oh cool. We're getting rid of more and more. Also the rocket, or whatever, I, whatever it is I'm shooting, probably the missile. That one has uh, the slowest speed and uh, requires the most lead in targeting. Oh, am I done? No, one more. The final one. Oh, that was a nice shot. Not even getting hit. Come on, buddy. Also, I can just stand still, because there's so many healths, uh, health items around. Oh, come on. Right. Now everything gets collected, and uh, I'll, go, I'll totally get healed up. No need to destroy the inactive one. So let's upgrade this totally. Damn, still not enough scrap. Uh, I want more reload time. I also want more speed. Can't have everything. also want more damage. Okay, let's take the hardest one, because that's obviously the best. And let's see if we can survive this. Oh yeah, this is going great so far. So the trick is kind of to shoot at the arrow and either... Oh, damn. Either shoot at it directly... I mean, either drive at it directly or drive away from it, because that way they will not, the enemy will not start, how do you say, curving, and uh, all your hits will, all your shots will hit the target. All right, this is uh, not going as as well, but at least I have good armor, as it seems, so I'm not going down. So now it's time to just take out. Uh, the second in command of each chain of the enemies. Yet again, because taking out the first one will just let more enemies spawn and we have 11 to deal with. So four now and then 
Uh, seven more? Oh boy, that's a lot. So as tempting as it is, I'm gonna take care of the guns. And I have problems with my health. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. Okay, we're done here and I can pick up this health. If only I could uh, move better. Oh crap. This is getting critical. But yeah, this is probably the hardest level I've played so far. Okay, did that. And I think I accidentally destroyed another tank, so we're gonna just get ready for the next. And always... Yeah, nice. Always making weird movements. Oh, and I just noticed that if, if uh, enemy tanks shoot and there's uh, one of their wagons in the way, they will actually shoot those things as well. Very nice. So I can use these as walls. So once you figure out the strategy, and if you play on easy, then you kind of have a good chance. Uh, I haven't tried the other modes, because, uh, boy, I am not excellent. This game kind of reminds me, because of its look and its perspective, and the fact that you drive around and shoot, of Death Rally, which is a DOS-era uh, fighting racing game. It's quite good. At least it was. I mean, back then, easier to impress. Yeah, I think the other reason why it reminds me of that is because the, the way to win these is not by shooting better or something, but by figuring out what the uh, general idea of the AI is, what kind of mistakes they do, what kind of mistakes you can make them do. Oh yeah, one other strategy is to use the wall, because that totally... Uh, they are, have totally not been programmed to deal with that very well. Oh, so close. So, so close. There we go. That was a long one. Alright, here I switched to a different tank strategy that I had, uh, where I was a bit more successful with the first tank, doing the hardest mission at first. And I already can afford two, and I already can afford two behind, like two wagons. And we're gonna do the hardest mission now. And there we go. We have, well, not three times the firepower, but we have a good mix of speed and uh, damage. And I'm just getting accustomed here to all the guns, but... Uh, Having, you know, having more turrets means having to worry about less about aiming. And there's nothing you can destroy that you don't want destroyed. So there's no problem there. And just trying to get out of, yeah, staying out of the way of their bullets. So after this mission I will have so much scrap I will be up able to upgrade hopefully all of these ones I already have and probably get one or two more. Uh, maybe only one full upgraded one. And I'm gonna... the maximum length I think is six, so you can have two of each kind. There are three different kinds of guns. At the very end, I'm sure I will have them all upgraded to the max. And the worst that can happen to you in this game is probably having to spend money on repairs at the end of a mission, because then you have less for uh, upgrading. And also losing tanks. I think you don't get them back if you actually lose them. So this one was uh, not a problem at all. And we have 10 in-game hours left, so let's keep going. So here it is, I can... Actually, I didn't notice, I did fin finally upgrade this one. Okay, now I have one of each upgraded to the maximum level, and this one I cannot upgrade fully. But that's nice, and I'm gonna pick the hardest mission again. It's only two in-game hours, that's wonderful. And let's see, I mean, there, there are six enemies at once, but with this amount of bullets and all of them so powerful, there really is no problem. Yeah, this one just got sprayed uh, as a side thought. Yeah, the yellow ones are nothing, basically. This red one also just got in the way and died. Again, one more yellow down. One more yellow down. I'm not even aiming, really. Just spraying and praying. And it works. And, uh, yeah, all of, all first wave down. Six... That was six, now nine are left, eight are left. Soon it will be seven, and it will be soon all over. And I haven't even left this area of the map yet, but there's really nothing on the left. There's just some turrets, I believe. Nothing to be gained. So yeah, uh, to make this game a bit... Um, to, to require different strategies, one would probably want to add upgrades that spawn randomly or something like that. So, four are left, 
We saw some turrets on the left, but we can totally ignore them. Enemies, as you see, spawn at random uh, directions from you. And I'm not quite sure, on the bottom left there looks like a mine. But maybe it's just the remainder of a tower. But I'm gonna stay away from it and just drive around. This is the last enemy and he is not quite, but soon dead. Dead. I mean dead. Alright. Eight hours left, plenty of time. Let's max this one out. We can afford one more. We're gonna add one more of this maximum damage, slow flight speed, slow uh, projectile speed turrets. And this one, uh, this mission, now I'm trying out a different tactic. Like not moving at all. This might work very well. With the firepower that we have, we can basically just shoot in the direction of the enemy, let them come, and uh, some of them apparently die off screen. This is quite uh, cheap, and this is easy mode, so probably not possible when you are actually going for a challenge, but it's effective, and I like it. So, yeah, look at this. This was a very weird spawn position, but hey, I'll take it and I'll keep shooting. This one could take at least a little curve, but that was no use, and the mission is over. That was record time, I think. And it was the hardest mission available, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now I think I accidentally picked the next one, or there was a bug. Anyways, just gonna do the same strategy. Might even might even finish this faster? Not quite sure. Uh, we'll see. But this one, yeah, the enemies are faster now. They're also better armored, so they get closer, and they actually block our shoot path, our line of sight. That is a bit annoying. But no problems during these first encounters, and as you can see, our firepower allows us to destroy the enemy so fast that we don't even have to worry about having multiple enemies at the same screen, except for this one. This one kind of evades us, but uh, no, nah, we managed to get rid of it before the next enemy arrives. And now we take care of the next one just as easily. Except I wasn't aiming properly, so I had... Oh look, they drove off map. That's kind of a cool bug. And there's only four left. Shooting down what's in the way. Not a, not much of a problem, just takes a bit... a few more seconds. Ah, and now we have quite some rubble in the way, but... Just because this guy crashes into the wall so nicely... Again, not a problem at all. And this one, I mean... That one could have saved some more time of their lifetime by uh, turning around faster. And that's it. That's over. Look at all this health lying around. Looks to me like an airstrike pickup, but whatever. Not having a plus is nice too. So we max out the second uh, high damage weapon. And uh, what we're gonna do... We're gonna, to gonna take a second, uh, second weapon type. And already maxed out, and we have spare scrap. Our tech is... Is our tech maxed out? I believe so, yeah. So there's nothing else to do. So we'll just pick uh, a mission that will allow us to finish, to go to the end boss, and we have only two hours remaining, so we're taking the two hours mission. And uh, let's see how many... I don't even see how many enemies there will be. Okay, ten. Just look at this. We're, we're destroying the whole chain of tanks just by pointing into their general direction so this is working out nicely five left not much to say I mean uh, all we can do now is look forward to the end boss and yeah it's it's an interesting little twist but but not much of a problem really two enemies left one enemy left just cleaning up and it's done Alright, it's time for the end boss. Let's take a look. There we go. Do or die. Engage. <laughs> this game is also kind of mean with deleting your save points if you fail and stuff. Kind of a roguelike. But uh, yeah, I'm staying a bit away to be safe. And look at this. The, these things look like the... Uh, what are they called? Anyways, from the first made Star Wars film. Uh, Javas? Um, 
take one of their trucks. Nice and huge weird tanks, I guess, and uh, at first I make a mistake of trying to engage it close up, but the cheap strategy is the correct strategy. You just ride off screen, allow only one of them to see you, and shoot in their general direction. And now that the final one is only left, nothing really matters and you can drive towards it. And that's it. That was it. So it's that kind of game where you have to do the right thing at the beginning and then you get through it without problems. So thank you, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check this game out, it's free to download from itch. Link is in the video description and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!